be an American Heritage Month, and that calls for a celebration. And to help us celebrate, we have uh, Chef Creole, who is a Haitian chef, and it will be cooking this weekend at Biscaya. We also have uh, Alan Leroy. Yes. Right? Welcome to both of you. Chef, first of all, we'll talk to you in a second about the big event. Yep. You're going to get started. What are you going to cook for us oh, as we're talking? We're going to cook us some shrimp and Creole <laughs> butter okay. sauce. Woo -wee. All right. Oh, yeah. Now, you want to start off cooking? Yeah, you start cooking. I tell you what, just get, get, get your oil in the plate, uh, get started, and I want, Alan, you come in here and tell me what's happening at Vizcaya here. Oh, it's a fabulous event uh, this Saturday at the Vizcaya. In celebration of Caribbean American Heritage Month, we're putting together an assortment of celebration from Nestor Torres to strings to art exhibits to cooking by Chef Creole, and it's all in you know, celebration of Caribbean cultures, whether you're from Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, Latin America, we want to bring out the best of the culture, and it's happening at June Fest mm -hmm. at the Vizcaya this Saturday. Just Saturday, all day, is it all day Saturday? It's an evening from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. We're going to entertain you with live musical performances, delicious cuisine by Chef Creole, sensual dances by Hot Jam Entertainment. It's going to be crazy. Our sponsors, Moet and Shandon, Hennessy, Ten King, FedEx Kinko. So we've been working on this for quite a while, and it's going to culminate this Saturday. All right, let's see what the, what the chef is culminating for us right now here. All right. First thing you want to do is, I want to tell you, como no year. We in the house, Creole style. <laughs> now, we just put some whipped butter in there, all right? We got about an eight ounce of whipped butter that we put in there already. Now, Chef, this, obviously, this is not a diet dish. Well, in a sense, it is a diet dish. Uh, sure. Because when you look at the misconception <laughs> that they, they may have about Caribbean cooking, this is diet dish. This is the best in the market, sweetie. All right. All right? It looks phenomenal. All right, now. Already. Okay, now, look here. We got the Chef Creole secret recipe, which is very, very important. That's the way you get all of your different herbs, different spices up in there, the different vegetables in there, all in one shot, which is very, very important. So we already put two ounces there, two ounces of it in there already. So now, put a little bit of salt in there, okay? About a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of Chef Creole complete seasoning. It's a little different when the chef puts a little touch to it. All huh? right. <laughs> all right. This is your stuff right here. This is my stuff, all right? And now we're going to put one cube of chicken bouillon, all right? That way it gives it a little bit more flavor, which is very important. Now we got fresh, already blended up garlic that we're going to put in there already. Now, you know, garlic tends to accentuate the taste, you know, take it to a different sure. level, you know, let you know that it's food being cooked right. in the house, baby. <laughs> now, do you, right? go, do you go easy on the garlic or are you heavier on the garlic? Well, for this particular recipe, you're going to put four ounces of garlic in there for this particular recipe. All right? Now, look here. Already as we're cooking, which is very important, when you're in the kitchen, you want to get an aroma as if someone sprayed some perfume mm, in the air. I got it. And as you can smell it, you can smell the perfume. I got it. I got it. You know, and, <laughs> and while you're cooking, you want to say a woo. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. That thing look good, don't it? Yes, it does. This is Creole style. Now, I want to know why Rod Hagwood is getting closer and closer to the table here. <laughs> and as you, can, a star. <laughs> as you can see, you see how it's culminating itself together? Yeah. It's reducing itself together. That's very, very important. Just like, you know, when you're singing music, you got alto, soprano, and tenor. Right. But at the end of the day, you got one note. When you're cooking in the kitchen, you want to have all these different ingredients give you one taste. Now, my sauce is calling. All right, now look here. What's very interesting about the Caribbean is, should be a drama coach too. Right, should, yeah. Is that sometimes if the sauce feels if there's some 10 candy rum in the house, it's gonna say, can I get a drink please? Ooh. You know why? So it wants to further manifest itself. Are we gonna flame here? Oh, not uh. gonna flame. We're gonna put, this recipe calls for four ounce of rum. Uh. Okay? But since, Bob, you're in the house today and you talk about you'd be up by 12 o'clock, we'll right. put an extra two ounces in there. Man. All right, good. Now that we got the 10K rum in that bad boy. When do, you throw, when do you throw the shrimp in? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We only got 20 minutes here, you know. All right, look. <laughs> now we got the shrimp coming in in just a little bit, but we want to let it boil a little bit for about 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. 10 more minutes. But what we're going to do right now is which is very, very important. And I want to show you something that might be a little bit different. Yeah. Only Chef Chris.